Hi guys, it's Bella and welcome to Beauty on the Budget and Empties Time again. Now, I was trying to make my mind up whether to put it in different sections like I do sometimes or whether to just get my big bag, that I can't even lift up, <laughs> full of my empties and um, pick it out like Lucky Dip. So we're doing Lucky Dip today. <laughs> so here goes. I'm starting with the Liqueur Soy. This, oh, I always get the sun. This is a serum. Um, it's not, I love liqueur. You know me and liqueur, I love it. Um, now, although the soy is the one that's meant for the mature skin, I actually like the, the plain Q10 one much better. Um, the Q10 one has got retina in it. This hasn't got retina in it. Although this is meant for 60 plus or 50 plus, I think. But um, it's okay. It's not bad. I love all the curious stuff, but no, I wouldn't repurchase it because I just like my soy, my um, Q10. This is a use up. Um, it's the Volume Big Shot. I like this mascara. It's very, very nice. Yes, I would be purchase it. That is going into my um, project pan because that's in um, coming out, you know, next year when I show you what I've used up in a year and what was supposed to be used up. This is a beautiful, beautiful hand cream. It's by Ted Barker. And my beautiful friend sent me a set for Christmas. And this was part of it. What a lovely hand cream it was. Really lovely. I was sorry to see the end of that one. <laughs> see, I'm lucky to Look, I'm just going to one side. And we're back to the soy again. So as I said, I got the soy set this time. Or last time. I won't get it again. It's okay. I'm not saying it's bad, but I just love the Q10. The, the Q10 to me is rivals any anything I've ever used. I really, really like it. Next, hyaluronic acid. It's the balance one. I love it. It's changed my skin. It's been a big, big game changer for me, and I nearly have that every month. Nearly. This is my usual. What I have in there every single month. I love them. We've always got them going. Next, roll on deodorant. This is just um a just a sort of bargain basement aster one, but it works for me really, really fine. I don't get really, really sweaty. What a nice conversation. I don't tend to get really very over sweaty in the summer, yes, but it's not overly, even then it's not overly. Um, next one is the Garnier Body Repair. I love this. Let's have a sniff. You know I have to. Lovely. Body cream, the Garnier one, body repair. Would I repurchase it? Absolutely. It's lovely. Next. Ah, now I've got a lot of these at Christmas time. They're the Senses from Avon. And this one, you've seen me do it before, guys. This is the creamy caramel one. Very, very nice. I think it's one that um, was on offer at Christmas, obviously, because I bought quite a few of them. But um, it's a winter smell. I certainly wouldn't buy it this time of year. It's it's a winter smell. Baz, Sanex. Oh, not even Nivea. You know why I couldn't get hold of Nivea? Every shop I tried, even online shops, didn't have Nivea. I've got it now. But last month I couldn't get hold of it. So Sanex is kind of his, his next favourite one. So. Next is the Yardley's English Rose. That's a body spray. Um, I've got this for... Do you remember when I did the, the things that have been tried and tested over the years? Um, and this was one of them. Yardley's has been out for ages and ages. I think the rose has been out. I'm sure it was 18 something. It's been out for ages. It's very, very nice. And I like floral essence. I like it. It's very, very nice. Um, I wouldn't repurchase it again because it's not quite citrusy enough. It's 
it's it is rose you would think you were smelling a rose in the garden it's really really rose but just a little bit too rose for me really next another one of them i don't know why i put them all there in there <laughs> next revitalift yes i do like it it's very nice it's got the uh, pro retinol in it again all gone it's very very nice but it doesn't do anything that the Q10 one doesn't um, and it's quite a bit dearer but if I had to do it again I would buy this and not the soy because the, the soy one wasn't for me I'm sure it's for a lot but not for me but this I would say is next to my L'Oreal Q10 and it's revised lift and everyone knows it it's everywhere it's very very nice but it's not dearer so if I can get something that does equally as well which it does Nivea for men this is the shower gel sensitive he always uses those up guys <laughs> um, now guess what I've used up this is the cleanse and replenish and I really really like it um, I love Tresme you know I do the cleanse and replenish is really I tend to get quite an irritated scalp um, so I don't use any any shampoos when I try a new shampoo the first thing I look for obviously is, is I want it to be nice for my hair but also I get a really irritated scalp with a lot of shampoos. Tresme doesn't do that to me at all. But this one is, is the best one for that. Um, so it's cleanse and replenish. Deep cleansing for all hair types and it's lovely. I love it. And I've got replenish just it. But I don't keep it in there. I think I told you before I had some old Dove bottles. That I, didn't like, I didn't like Dove shampoo. Um, and I... Baz puts it in there for me because I can't squeeze that. It's just a little bit too much for me. So he puts it in the other bottles for me. Um, this is the other part of the soy. This would be the day one. So I got that set. Again, it's okay. I used it up. It's okay, but it's not top of my list. Next, the Asda's Ultimate Hairspray, which is supposed to be a dupe for Elnet, and it's not. <laughs> It's okay, but I don't think I'd repurchase that one. It'd be a bit gloopy. Next, Asta's Little Angel's Baby Powder. I use baby powder a lot, you know I do. Um, I don't, It takes me a while to use one of them out. But I always try to stick to the baby powder. Next is the um, Pampered Coconut Almond and Vanilla Hand Wash. It was very, very nice. Can't even remember where I got this one, guys. Oh, Home Bargains. Right here on there. Home Bargains. It was very, very nice, but nothing outstanding. Um, what's the ones that I like? The really nice one that does this called Sound of Coconut Smell. Bayless and Harding. Is it Bayless and Harding? They're lovely. This was okay. I mean, it was done the job. Um, but... I wouldn't rush out to buy it again. I've got another one of those uh, Avon shower gels that I bought. Another one of Baz's washes. This we're clean, huh? <laughs> this is um, N Spa for men and it's invigorating body wash. N Spa you can get at Asda's and I like it a lot. He didn't like this one. Well, he did. He did like it. I'm not saying he didn't like it, but he didn't like it like he likes his Nivea. But he used it up anyway. Took him a while though. <laughs> and there we go. This is the Moisture Luxury uh, Conditioner from Tresme. That's the conditioner. I like that particular conditioner because I kind of only condition from there down. But it's... um. Lovely, I love that one. That goes along with the shampoo that I showed you. This is a Nivea shave gel. That is used up. No, I've got any. Ah, now this is the one. This is the one. This is the one that I'm saying to you about. 
this is the Nivea Q10 and this is the night cream and that's the one with retinol and it's lovely this is my favorite all-time night cream whatever I could use this is the one I'd go back to um, and I'm not I don't really want to change it's really hard because Aldi's where you get it they don't do online deliveries I wish so much they did but they don't and um, sometimes it's difficult you know it's difficult for me to get out so I kind of buy something else that I think might do but what I'm going to do is um, I'm going down to see my daughter soon um, well, she's coming up here to get me first <laughs> Um, and so I'm going down for a while with my daughter. Um, I'll do some filming down there, of course. And um, she's got an Aldi right on top of her, so we are going to pick. I'm going to pick up about five of each. So I just love them. I just don't want to be without them again. Next is the dry shampoo by Astas, and this is the cherry blossom one. I absolutely love the smell of this. I don't use a lot of dry shampoo. Um, I don't use it for volume a lot. I just use it when I think my hair just needs a little bit of a lift. You know, when I think, oh, I could do with washing my hair, I'll do it tonight. Do you know what I mean? That kind of thing. So I use it then, but uh, I don't use a lot of it. But this is this is a, a nice one. The nicest one is the Herbal Essence. The Herbal Essence Dry Shampoo. If you haven't tried it, guys, it's really lovely. But this is a nice one. This one. <laughs> um, ah. This is the Nivea Marcella water because I couldn't get hold of ones that, um, from the chemists that I usually use. I still can't, um, but Marcella water is Marcella water, but I just like some more than the others. I don't know why, it's just a nicer feeling and I've got a big bottle of the Garnier one going at the minute, um, you know, in the pink, um, so th that's nice. This is okay. I mean, like I said, my cellar water is my cellar water, but it wasn't my favourite. It's just a feeling. I just didn't like it the best. Oh, well, it's new. I've got one of those eye creams, which I love. I use that night and day. Excellent. Oh, we're getting there, guys. Um, ah. Now this is the Collection Perfection Foundation. I really, really like this. I think it's cool beige. It's absolutely lovely. Yes, I would repurchase it. It's a lovely everyday foundation. And that's got to go as well because it comes from my project pan. So that will go back into my project pan. I've done well with my project pan this year, guys. Last year... I, it was my first year because I'm doing it with Ellen Christian and last year was my first year and I just got too enthu over enthusiastic I put a load of stuff and oh, I'll use that I'll use that up because mm, I didn't um, so this year when I started it I was a little bit more realistic to what I would use and what I wouldn't and I'm doing okay I'm doing okay um, vitamin C again it's the balanced one it's the one I like those things have made such a difference to my skin. Um, like I said, I'm never going to be 25 again. But since I've been doing YouTube, since I've really looked into skincare stuff, my skin has improved a lot. And I've tried different, you know, different brands. But this one is the one that I can use and I can see visible results. So I will always stick to the balance. You know I go off par and try something and it's no good. Ah, and this is the end spa. This is the shave gel. It's a set he had to use. That. And when did we get that? Um, I think he said that for Christmas. But um, no, he, he liked it, but he just is if you're obsessed, my best. Now, this is another mascara I used up. Um, it's the Lash Paradise. I really like Lash Paradise. If you saw my mascara video, I really, really like Lash Paradise. But it doesn't last. I mean, it's dry and goop. I can't even get the top off. It's just... It's some in it. Can, can you hear? Some in it, but it's like goop. You know, when you put it on your eyes, it's too goopy. And it goes... I mean, all mascaras can do that eventually, but... 
last about three weeks. So I like it, I really like it, but it just uses up too quickly. Next. Oh, Colgate toothpaste, that's the end of those, thank goodness. I've got my cleans in. Um, next. I used up the 90 coats needed Makeup Revolution. I actually used it as a topper just to sort of pull my eyes because I, I ain't staring anything out, you know. And it didn't affect my eyes or anything, it didn't make them itchy or anything. It was just rubbish. Um, next is the Avon. I really like this, guys. This is the Avon Liquid Gold, Cream Gold, and it's their little pots, little shadow pots. Now, I didn't realise I liked it to about nine months ago and I think I started using it about nine months ago and I realised I really really liked it but of course I'm a bit worried about the date because I've had it over a year, well about 18 months probably, might be even going towards two years um, and I thought well I better not use any more but there's still some left, it's, it's gone a bit dry now. But I definitely would repurchase it and use it up because I would use it all the time. But it's really lovely as a base for your eye just up to here. It's really nice. It has got a slight gold to it. But once you put an eyeshadow on top, um, it just gives it a glimmer. It, it just gives it a nice glimmer. It's a lovely base. And sometimes what I do is I just put it all over and then I just do my crease and I leave the gold on the lid. It's nice. I'm going to see Avon again. I should definitely repurchase that. Hey, lady, Avon ladies, give it up. I told you, didn't I? Um, next is a short deodorant. Bass used up. He used it. Wasn't keen on it because, well, you know why. Um, and this is the Revitalift. This is the night cream that went with the day cream that I got. And like I said, very nice. Yes, I would buy it again if I couldn't get hold of my Q10. I would buy it again. And I do think that... I've got some old receipts in the bottom of this bag. <laughs> yeah, I do think that's it. I had a couple of face masks. What did I do with the... I threw the packaging away. I must have done. Um, I had a couple of sheet masks, a couple of uh, Garnier ones, which I love. The... the bomb ones you know moisture bomb ones I like those and a couple of the ones that I like from seventh heaven with the manuk honey so a couple of those I used up as well but I must have thrown those away so that was my empties for the last month don't they go quick um do you like seeing empties guys I don't want to do things that you don't like sometimes my things are so repetition um do empties do you like because uh, I love seeing other people's I empties is one of my favorite videos I don't know why um especially when you you see ones that um you know oh I can get hold of that I can get that I can get that um like I spoke to you about my friend Kaz we get so many of the same things and I look at it oh I'll get I'll get that next time I go in oh that looks nice I'll get that you know and so yeah I like watching empties apart from the fact that I'm nosy um but if you're not keen on them, or you rather I didn't do them so often, just let me know. Because I've, you know I always want to do things that's right for you. So, thank you for watching me guys, and for watching all my rubbish again. I will see you again on Friday. You have a lovely week. Look after yourself, and 